Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to try out Soulstone Survivors. This is probably one of the most highly requested roguelikes on my channel in a long time, and it officially came out in early access today. As of recording this, uh, you know, it'll be out like the next day, uh, so it'll be a day ago. But either way, it's a new bullet heaven game, kind of like Vampire Survivors. And this one is massive. Everybody and their mother's been trying to get me to play it. I got a review copy, one to give away. I'll be talking about that at the, you know, Discord. Um, but we're going to just try it out. I've never played this game. I know a lot of content creators played it a lot in the demo. I always like waiting until games at least get into early access. Um, and uh, so we're going to just jump into it. I think we're going to just click fight. Uh, we only have the Scorching Valley. And we can, I guess, find copper and topaz here. Copper's metal used to forge weapons. And topaz can be used to forge weapons. Okay, so it seems like there's like a little bit of a crafting Thing or something like that huh okay so eliminate the lords of the void so what is this so i have i have a whirlwind here so i guess automatically i'm spinning to do uh damage around me what is it just kill monsters to level up i'm assuming i also have a dash which is like a space here and i'm also immune my cursor doesn't do anything because i probably don't have an ability that does it um, but yeah, no. So th this this game is is like super super. So I have objectives here. Okay, so eliminate the lords of the void, zero to five, and I need to eliminate the monsters to summon a lord. Okay, that's actually cool. Instead of like oh survive a certain amount of time, it's you've got actual objectives. That's pretty cool. So uh, behemoth increase. Okay, so this is an uncommon increases your experience modifier by an additional fifteen percent and your pickup mod. I love when it combines XP modifier increases and magnet range. Let's go. Which increase the range in which you collect items. Okay, yes, please. First upgrade. Already I can tell you I really like this. Uh, I don't know, the visuals and the grain. It's almost like a low pile, low poly style type of thing. But uh, for those of you guys watching on YouTube and, and Twitch, I guess, please let me know if you want to see this as a full term series because screw being a mini series, this game I think has potential to be a long term series if that's what you guys want. So, okay, active skill. Perform a strike or throw a bomb or leave a... Okay, let's do bombs. Throw a bomb in front of you, pulling enemies in a large area towards its position. Let's try that. So I have a bomb now. So that's what I'm clicking. Ooh! See, I like this. So it's going to be a mix of auto abilities and a mix of, like, click abilities. I like that. I already I already can tell that I like this game. Yes, this looks so good. I like how everyone's immediately already like, yes, please. Um, okay, increase maximum health by 30. Uh, increase your cast frequency. Yep, yep, let's do that. We're going full DPS here. I like this character, but also if it has, like, it seems like it has a huge, like, really cool, like, crafting progression system, right? Like, Vampire Survivors is awesome because it has cool, like, Binding of Isaac level progression. This seems like it has its own thing. Yo, multicast. Increase the multicast chance of all your skills of type area. Of type area? Oh, okay, so both of them are area that I have. By an additional 36%, some effect is applied to units summoned by skills. Increase the level of all affected skills by one? Excuse me? So it just not only it leveled up both of my abilities and increased the chance for there to be a multicast. Also, okay, I don't click, I just aim where I want it to go. It still auto fires here. This seems a tad too detailed to be or yeah, maybe not low poly, but I don't know. I don't know what the art style would be. So anything we want things that are area, I guess. So shrapnel bomb, throw a bomb in front of you, dealing shrapnel damage and bleeding people. Oh, dude, it's also retroactive. That bomb is a freaking two hundred percent. So is this a? Oh, okay, okay. So okay, so we, so it's okay. Those circles are enemies. I didn't know if those were mine or not. Um. Okay. Uh. Increase your multicast chance by a percent chance. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh god, we got like bounced around. Yo. This does look good. Yeah, this this seems freaking amazing. Increases the area modifier by suction bomb. Okay, yeah. I really like that it's like telling me specifically what works with what. You don't see that a lot. Though this is oh, okay, we new active skill. Um uh fire seven sh Okay, we want things that are areas. Which is Thunderstrike. We only want things that are areas, maybe, because of the uh, the multicast. So, calls down thunder uh, to a random enemy. Damage, pushing enemies back, dazed and stunned. So, they um, in chance to receive critical strike. Okay. So, we just want anything that we can increase our chance to, to um, multicast, I think. Yeah, lower poly, mid poly. <laughs> we just got to kill enemies. We're also trying to get, uh, you know... 
I guess the, on the left side of the screen, you can see the gems that we're getting, which I'm sure we'll use to level up. Increase the damage modifier by Thunderstrike skill. Sure. It also leveled up Thunderstrike as well. This music's pretty freaking good, too. Oh, is this a... Is this a no, we still haven't seen a uh, Lord of the Void. So we haven't got to 400 to even spawn one yet. Increase the damage modifier of Thunderstrike. No, damage modifier of Whirlwind. Let's do that. So it levels it up. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, we took a lot of damage there. Oh, there we go. We got a... Oh, look at that. It's like a boss. So there's going to be five bosses here? Um, okay, which one? This is an area. The left and the right are areas. So we can either create a void at a random position to pull the enemy in and doom them, which causes damage after a certain time. Um... If Doom accumulates more damage than the target has health, it will instantly kill it. Or we could do Flurry. Quickly throw daggers in the direction you're aiming at, bleeding them. Yeah, let's do that because we also have another bleed. Dude, this game looks really pretty as well. I mean, we already said that, but like for real. Okay. I'm just trying to get all this. Oh, nope. Dash out of that. I know better. Increase your damage modifier by an additional 30%, but subtract 15%. Okay, from my movement speed. So we're, we're slower, but we're stronger here. Sounds good. Oh, we just... we Yeah, we hit that guy a ton there. There we go. Uh, increase your block power. What is block power? What? I don't know. Uh, your cast frequency modifier. Yep. Increase your damage modifier 20%. But, okay, yeah. We're going to be even slower here. So we've killed the first um, Void Lord. So we need to um, summon another one. How much does this game cost? I actually don't know. I, I, I forgot to look. It's, it's partly because, you know, I got a review copy. But if someone looks it up, you know, let us know. But okay, let's do the Void. It's our last area. So we just went all in with the area so we can multicast. Okay, $10. Gotcha. Yeah, and this this is an early access. It just came out in early access, but if it's this polished in early access, like, man. I know it's been in a, a demo for a while. Every time you apply a stack of days, there's a chance of burning as well. That sounds pretty good. See, I always like it, too, like, when you have all these, like, quirky modifiers and things that are going to make each run different. Um, okay, let's go ahead and increase our movement speed a little bit. We, we lowered our movement speed a lot, so I think it's probably smart to increase that back up. Uh, oh, so we would have to replace something, I think. Or we could replace choices with passive power-ups. Wait. Wait. Well, none of these are areas, so I'm just going to replace them with passives. Huh, that's interesting. Um, okay, increase the chance to multicast. I want to be multicasting like 100% of the time. Um, let's see. I, I honestly think people shouldn't, like, Vampire Survivors is cheaper than it should be. I don't think people should, like, be like, oh, well, like, well, Vampire Survivors is so much cheaper, you know. So this buffs all bomb stuff. Okay. Vampire Survivors is, is criminally undercharging for what it is. And I do, I do think it overall hurt the indie market a little bit because now these indie devs are feeling pressured to release a game for way cheaper than they really ought to. But... Uh, okay, we'll do Magnetic again. Get some more experience. But people just seem to like this game. First day it's out, it already has like 700, 600 like positive reviews on Steam. So what happens if I have too many actives? I, I don't know. But none of these are areas, so I don't even want to try. I would try for an area one, but... Um, yeah, freaking the... the your cast frequency. Yeah, let's do that. I just want to be casting like 10,000 times a second and multicasting constantly. Ooh, epic power. Increases the damage modifier of all area skills. Yep, there we go. And it just leveled them all up. See? Oh, let's go. Oh, man. Uh, crit damage. Multicast chance. Let's go. Uh, poison bomb. Okay, so this is finally an area. So is it, if I pick this, is it going to ask me to... Oh, never mind. Yeah, choose something to be replaced. I don't want to replace anything. So we're going to just get passives. Increase the area modifier of Shrapnel Bomb, and it levels it up. I like that. Like, the ones that uh, increase the... Um, or 
boost up a skill, it also levels it up. That's kind of cool. Versus, like, just having weapons that you level up. Increase our damage by 10%. Uh, increase the area modifier of Flurry and level it up. Yeah. See, like, the fact that you level it up and then, yeah, that's really cool. You're leveling up quite a lot. Give me passives. Uh, damage increase of bombs. If skill does not cause damage, potency will be... Okay, yeah. So I think we're getting close to summoning our second lord. Cast frequency. Yes, please. We're literally going to just be, like, casting a million abilities a second and then multicasting them um, increase area nope multi chance yep give me more multicast chance uh we're a hundred away dude nothing can even come close to us here um yeah i don't i don't want to replace anything so um, increase the... All of your attacks have a chance to poison enemies. Sure. I like that. Um, yeah, more damage, but we're slower. As long as we keep boosting up our movement speed, I think that's fine. But we've got a good build. More multicast chance. Okay, we got an elite here. There's the elite. Uh, okay, uh, we will... More magnetic. Oh, this guy's like a flamethrower guy. Oh, gosh! Oh, my! I'm too slow! I'm gonna die! <gasps> oh, yeah, that... I guess that's what happens when we die. We got two achievements. Reach level 25 and beat a, uh, a person. Okay, so let's see the progression now. So we have 5,000 minor soul stones harvested from the souls of lesser enemies. We have one corrupted soul stone from slaying the first boss of the void, second boss, third boss, fourth boss, and fifth boss. So if we click the character, so there's different characters that we can play as. So these minor soul stones, you get achievements and then you can buy them, I guess. So we, we do have a pyromancer here. You can also have a different weapon. I don't know how to do that, but... It seems like you also level up the characters in particular. So then you have the blacksmith. Oh, is blacksmith how you buy the new weapon? Okay, so blacksmith, if we get iron, emerald, and a ruby, which is different from these soul stones, then we can craft the uh, his tribal war axe, which I guess gives us different stats and a new ability or something. And then we also have runes here. Which I don't know. To equip runes, first you need runic power. You can get runic power through the skill tree uh, and by completing achievements. Runes are... Okay, so those are runes, so we need to do skill tree here. So what is this? We need 50,000. Increase the runic power of all of your characters by one. This power is permanent. So we... Okay. 500... Oh, wait, wait. 500... Okay. Wait, increase the runic power of all of your characters by one. I don't really quite know. Is this runic power? First, first you need runic power. You can get runic power through the skill tree. Oh. So we have to do it for that. Now, we could do things like extra movement speed and stuff like that. There's also all these achievements as well. 173 achievements. So, okay. Let's just try the different character here then, I suppose. Uh, we could get the, the Pyromancer. So less maximum health, more crit damage, more damage modifier, less armor, more area modifier. Um, actually, we may save this, honestly, because I want to see what happens when we level up. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save that. So, for instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buff up our maximum health by 10. Um, and that would theoretically lead to block or armor. I don't really know how that works. But we'll increase the damage modifier by 1. Oh, this costs... Oh, some of these actually cost, like, rune stones. Number of dashes. That cost corrupted soul stones. Um, we'll increase the movement speed, uh, pickup range, the amount of soul stones you earn. There we go. Let's just upgrade that once. And then we'll go ahead and get, um, the two health points every time you level up. Oh, we can't afford that. Never mind. Uh, we'll go ahead and do more damage. Okay. So we'll play as this guy again here. That's so interesting. Okay. So yeah, we'll play this guy. Select. 
fight. So we were 29% complete here. Copper and topaz is what we're finding here. So is it going to put us at the beginning? It is going to put us back at the beginning. Okay. So we did an area build last time. Maybe we try doing something else this time here. Be interesting to see what happens with Rogue Soulstones. Looks like the devs are making two types of games with a shred, shared set of assets, but no one fought on the other pricing or building for the two. Yeah, you would think that they would just like try to combine it all into one game and make the game like really big. Because I did see that there was like, yeah, the other game called like Rogue Soulstone or something. Also, we got these materials all over the place. So you can kind of go find. Oh, see, see, there we go. Now we actually found those materials. Maybe I wasn't running around enough looking for the materials, you know? And that felt like we were in a game for a long time, but we were only in it for like five or like 10 minutes or something. Oh, legendary. Increase the multi chance uh, chance of the skill whirlwind by an additional 60%. Oh my gosh. So I guess we're doing a little bit of a multicast thing on that thing. Level it up as well. So maybe let's like, let, here, let's explore the map then a little bit. Okay, so obviously could like look for the crafting materials or something. I just saw the spawning animation. That's interesting. Just want to check out, you know, what we're what we're missing out. Now we may not get as much experience doing this, but I just want to check out what the maps like here. Get some of these crafting materials. Yeah. I do. Oh wait. Oh wait. What's over here? That's just like a regeneration rune? Probably. Okay, lightning bolt, fire three lightning projectiles towards a random enemy and daze them. Yeah. Let's do a very different build. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, this music is like really good actually. But I like that you have the normal enemies and then you have like these kind of like a stronger enemies. Then you obviously have the Lords of the Void. Increased critical damage chance. Yeah, sure. 15% higher. That's cool. Definitely magnetic. We're going to take magnetic every time we can. Uh, powerful strike in the direction you're aiming at. It's going to bleed or hemorrhage in the affected targets. Applying fragil fra fragility. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to try all the new stuff. Ooh. So that's a, that's a short range thing. Okay. More magnetic. We want as much. I love the fact that the magnetic in this game is both like magnetic range and then also XP gain bonus. Increase the cast frequency modifier of the subdue skill by an subdue. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I don't know, like a lot of games like have the XP gain and then have the magnet as a separate thing. And XP gain is always really good, but it always makes it feel like magnet's a wasted skill. Especially in games like Vampire Survivors, you can only have a certain amount. <gasps> Summon a Chaos Golem to fight for you every 48 seconds? Oh, there's summons in this game? There's summons in this game? No way. No way! Summons are like my favorite thing ever. If you've been watching my channel, you know that. Oh, let's go! Um, critical damage modifier. Yeah, I guess we're doing crit. Okay, here we go. We already got a. We already got a uh, Lord of the Void here. Where are you at? Increase the chance of subdue to be a multi chance. That's so interesting that it's not just like increased multi-chance for everything, but it's like for specific skills and leveling them up. We're about to be able to summon another guardian here. Is that why your round spot is summons? You know it. Summon builds are oh, so much fun. Nice, we got him. Okay, summon a ground shaking totem which continuously fires shockwaves, applying hemorrhaging, which is the dealing damage over time. And if they move, taking extra damage. Yeah, let's just do a bunch of summon stuff. That is so cool. So now we're placing down totems. Get more magnetic, yep. Um, increase the damage modifier of lightning bolt, sure. Or no, critical, yeah, sure. 
Um, shockwave in front of you. Sure. We may replace that, but... Oh, that shockwave's crazy good. So where's my... Su my guy's over here just murdering people. Did my first one die? I don't know. The frequency of lightning bolt. Sure. Yeah, there's there's the shockwave totem. Uh, damage just for everything. This went from a seven out of ten to a ten out of ten. Okay. Um, flurry, thunderclap. Mm, no, nah, I'll just get some passives. Shockwave, sure that thing. That shockwave's pretty good. Increase your area modifier. I don't think we have very... Well, we have a couple areas, but not really. We have two. Increase your damage modifier, and we're a little bit slower. We'll take one of those, but I do know I can't just fully do that, because that's why we died to the um, that flamethrower guy. Um, okay, let's increase our block power. I don't, I don't really know what... That's probably just defense, actually. Shadow spiked. Nah. Uh, let's increase our maximum health a little bit. More magnetic. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna get as many of the magnetic as possible. I have two golems out. No, I have three golems out. Let's go. Okay, increase crit damage chance. I don't know why. I guess we're maybe doing crit damage chance stuff. I don't know. Um, I. Okay, that was some healing. Uh, give me some magnetic. Let's go. As much XP as I can. Um, critical damage modifier. Yeah, well, this I, the chaos golem allows me to have up to three of them, and they summon every forty-eight seconds. Crit damage modifier. Um, no, nah, I'm fine. Um. Okay, block power up. So we didn't really do any of that last time. Ooh, units summoned by the Chaos Golem skill take two less damage and level up the Chaos Golem. Yeah, summons are going to be like my priority here. I don't know. Summons are so cool. Uh, crit chance. I guess we're also doing the crit chance stuff. What, what is happening over here? These summons are so cool. Um, no, nah, like, I think we're fine. That's the thing. Uh, critical damage modifier. I don't really know, like, how to tell, you know, if I'm doing the crits that I want to do, but. Yeah, these chaos summons. Dude, I love me some summons. Area modifier. Okay, let's do movement speed up. We definitely know we need more of that. Oh, there's some healing over here. Oh, this guy seems, this guy seems quirky over here. More magnetic. I will never stop taking magnetic. Uh, unless it's a summon. Magnetic. Just keep taking magnetic. Dude, I'm like able to pick stuff up like so far away. Uh, creates four fiery orbs that rotate around you. Burning people. Wow. Four extra orbs are added for every time this power-up is selected. They respawn every 10 seconds. Yo, that's cool. That's just a passive. Um, I mean, multicast. Ah, I'll do multicast. I don't know. Maybe I should have just kept doing the crit stuff. Oh, we, okay, we got, so we weren't able to beat the Lord the first time. Okay, more armor here. Where is he at? Okay. Oh, it's the same flamethrower guy. Okay. Let's just try to kite him around. We have our, our chaos guys kind of helping us out here. Increase the damage modifier of units summoned by chaos golem and level them up. Yep. Yep. If I can prioritize uh, my summons, I will. Nice. We killed the second guy. We weren't able to do that last time. Every time you apply fragile, I can bleed them. Am I applying fragile though? I do, a little bit, sure. Um, more whirlwind, sure. 
Oh, oh, I was really low. I didn't realize how low I was there. At least we killed this guy, though. Damage up by 10%, sure. Dude, my K. Look at those three Chaos guys over there. I'm a little bit worried about my health, though. Uh, yeah, my attacks have a chance to slow enemies. That could be pretty good. We haven't seen anything to upgrade our totem. Um, more movement speed. Because we've obviously been lowering our movement speed a bit. We need about 400 more to summon the third Void Lord. Dude, I'm loving these summons. Um, slam. Every time you apply Dazed, I can burn. I don't know how much I'm putting Dazed on. Light, I'm a little, I think it's only showing things that are relevant to us, which is pretty cool. Uh, we will... Oh, wait. Increases the damage on fire of all your types of... Sl oh, Slam. That's a type. And I, dev t I have two of them, including the Shockwave, and it'll level up both of them. Yeah, I love the way the upgrades in this game work. This is a top-notch roguelike, that's for sure. Oh, now there's like some venomous... Oh, those guys are actually like... They have a lot of health. They're spitting poison on the ground. Okay, some more health here. Increase... Um, the shockwave, uh, shock, oh wait, of the shockwave skill type, wait, of the shockwave, oh, 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 okay, yeah. Yeah, that shockwave skill is crazy now that we've, it's level four. We got to keep getting all the experience all over the map because our, our, uh, Summons are kind of, you know, doing that. Um, all of my attacks can burn people. That's cool, just being able to apply all these statuses and stuff. Nice. Oh, it's like a gold. What is that? He's like gold. I'm assuming that's like... I don't know. Every time you apply a stack of slow, I can apply fragile, which we are having a high chance to apply slow. It's like a 40% chance to apply slow. So that means if we apply slow, 50% chance they're taking extra damage, which is pretty good. The cast frequency of um, subdue, which is the strike and level it up. Sure. Yeah, leveling up skills seems pretty good. Oh, leveled up a new. Oh, okay. This is the uh, the third Void Lord, or Lord of the Void. Oh my gosh. We got this, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry, oh my gosh, yeah, for real, don't even worry about it. Easy. Easy. Uh, Magnetic, there could, oh! <gasps> Oh, we're at 8 HP. We're at 8 HP. I think he dropped a bunch of like, oh, we need healing. I don't know how to get healing. Healing, healing, healing. Okay, we got to find more of those. He like dropped a bunch of like suicide bomb things when he died. And I was dumb and didn't avoid him. It's a strong boy right there. Oh! Freaking hit me in the air. Okay, we need to go. Okay, increase the multi chance of subdue by 40% and increase the level. Sure. Okay, we need to find some more HP here. Where's my healthy wealthy? Hey, we just summoned a new guy. Oh, there's suicide bombers. I saw that. There's like a skeleton with like a powder keg on. See, I don't know if it'll actually notify me when healing spawns. I, I don't actually know. Hey, yeah, there it is. 
Increase the damage modifier of the unit summoned and increase it by one. Let's go. So our summons are level four now, or the ability of the summons are level four. So we need to kill about 200 more to summon the fourth uh, Lord of the Void. Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. took a bunch of damage. I'm gonna wrap around this guy. So satisfying, watch all the damage over time stack. Um. Yeah, the whirlwind. The whirlwind's pretty good. Look, it's like, I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, keep looking for health when I need it. Dude, I'm loving these summons here. Just a bit stressed out about my health is all. Dude, and the fact that there were like what like 30 like not 30 there were a lot of characters there were like so many characters in the game oh, oh okay we got our fourth void lord and i only have 24 hp so this is gonna be this is gonna be an experience maybe i just let my uh maybe i just let my summons handle it where is that him yeah the plague bearer okay we gotta be really patient with this here We're back to 54 HP. I don't know how. Oh! I'm back to 22 HP. Yeah, at least my summons are helping. Uh... Okay, maximum health by 15. A green icon appears on screen when the health gem. I've seen it before, but I haven't seen it every time. That's why I'm a bit confused. Because I know what you're talking about. I've seen it, but sometimes I see the gem without, uh, without like, feeling like I got notified about it. Dude, yeah. My summons are definitely distracting this guy. I just don't know. I'm going to summon another freaking lord at the same time, and then I'm going to definitely be overwhelmed. I just try to do my like area attacks towards him. Jeez. Units summoned by chaos take less damage, increase the skill level. Oh my gosh, we're at 19 HP. He's almost dead though. Come on, get him. There's so much going on, but I somehow still feel like this is, like, easier to look at than, like, Vampire Survivors. We killed him! Got a little bit of HP back. Nice! Multi-chance, 16% on everything. I think we got the gem. Nice! So we got one more Void Lord to spawn, and then we would already have completed this first map. Those spiders, get away from me. Yeah, my summons are helping distract him so well. Now, like, my damage itself is kind of faltering, but probably worth it. It's at least really fun. I heard some wolves do the, the thing that wolves do. And go like, ah, woo. Um, damage of swing. Oh yeah, of type that type. So we leveled up two things there. Ooh -woo. Uh, the first one's free. Uh, the next one. Every, every, every time you want me to do that, it's going to be like, I'm going to double the amount of subs required. So next time someone wants to hear me say that, it's one sub, and then it'll be two subs, and then, and then four subs, and then eight subs. So, 
It's 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 in, it's in, in your guys' power to uh <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like such a badass right now. We're about to summon the final lord. Also, I'm at 69 HP. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, swing that would level up two things. Yeah. I'm going to be like that one. There's like some guy streamer that for a sub, sub, subathon goal. I can't remember the person's name. But he, he like started dressing up as a girl. And like streaming on a girl. And like the subathon has been going on for over a year. So he's just like completely like. I think his name, it's like Finster or something. I keep seeing clips of him on TikTok. Alexi the Plague Bear. I unfortunately don't. I at first thought you were talking about like Alexa, but he's stuck like that forever. No, it's so funny actually. Dude, we are demolishing this guy. Did we do it? Eliminate at least two Lords of the Valley in the sink. So we unlocked uh Return through the portal. Where's the portal? We beat it. We freaking beat it. Okay, so what's this gonna do here for us? So we beat the first game. So now we have two corrupted soul stones, one, 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 a uh, bunch of achievements. So we can now also get the Hound Master. Is he a summon guy? Oh, look at the doggy! He shires, shoots mortar, mortars. I don't know why he's the Hound Master. Um, so we have two characters that we could buy here. Uh, we still haven't found the emeralds or the rubies or iron. None of them. But so all of the crafting materials are for their weapon. Their we weapons. That's interesting. So runes here. You, you need to get runic power. 50,000 is a lot. So I still can't do that. But what we can do is we'll go ahead and buy the pyromancer. But I kind of want to save this for like a future. Um, actually, we'll, yeah, we'll buy... Well, by the pyromancer, I, I kind of want to save that for like a future video. This could be pretty cool to like have a separate, you know, if we, if this is a whole series, you know, but we'll do like one more run here. Uh, rune, skill tree. So we'll spend the rest of them here. Um, we'll go ahead and, um, so that's three. Um, okay. We can go ahead and increase the amount of minor soul stones you earn. Let's just do that. Experience modifier. Um, uh, we only have 5,000 left. I'm going to just put it on the amount of minor soul stones you earn. Because, you know, that's going to just allow us to earn some more. So we'll play this first character still again. Um, and we'll try the new area here. Where is it? Fight. So we not only, so we have the Scorching Valley. <gasps> Wait, that's so cool. Wait, so you can replay these. Wait, so we've beat curse curse level one. Complete the map with four or more curse intensity to unlock this level. So there's actually a reason you get more minor soul stones. That's so cool for replayability because like you can replay the old maps. That's so cool. Okay, so we'll, we'll play this new map here one time. We can actually start finding some emerald here. Try to do one other, you know, build. I'm sure we'll, I'm, this is probably gonna be a lot harder or something. So, same kind of thing. We, we need to kill five of the lords here. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool little destructibility thing right there. So, we kind of had a summon build last time. This whirlwind ability is pretty cool. It's like the variant map modes for Nomad Survival when you're trying to unlock more stuff. Yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah. A tank build. <laughs> let's see, okay, you know what, actually, yeah, let's get the fire shields. 
Obviously, there was maximum health here, but like I could do kind of like a tank build. Like where where it's like I have a lot of health and people like I'm trying to put the fire shield the fire bombs on people and just having people come near me I could do like a close range build and try that out I'm Sure, we would just dominate people close range. Yeah, let's we'll try that. We'll try a close range kind of build here So anyway <laughs> Okay shockwave totem slash enemies in front of you. Yeah, so we're gonna do that anything that's close to us. Oh Yeah yeah, we're gonna do a close range build here. Bada boom. Boom. So I wonder if different enemies or different types of lords are gonna be on this map. And if it's like harder. Magnetic, obviously. That was a higher rarity magnetic too. Oh, look at the skeleton heads right there. It's a healing crystal over there. I see that. Oh, hello, mister. You want some? Boom! Oh, jeez. Uh, all of your attacks have a chance to doom the targets. Um, or poison them. I'll doom them? Maybe? I don't know. I just hope to apply so much doom. Hey, you got the sub? I think if you click like share sub, it should like do a notification. But either way, I appreciate it, my man. Oh, I have to do. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. I gave you two for the price of one. Next time, you gotta. I gotta get two subs, and we'll do it again. <laughs> um. Okay. Powerful strike where you're aiming. Quickly throw daggers where you're aiming. Mm, this is a swing. Maybe we try to do all swings. There's a subscription notification. Yeah, like in chat, after you subscribe, it asks you like, hey, share your notif share your subscription. And that's how the, that's how it all comes out or whatever. Like that's, that's when it would pop up on my screen being like the, whatever my Pokemon thing is. Cast frequency, that's pretty good here. So I guess we're gonna just do a bunch of swing abilities here. That could be cool. That could be pretty cool. Uh, is this another swing? Heroic strike. Yeah. Slow attack that strikes targets in a large area in the direction you're aiming at, causing a bunch of damage and confusing them. Damage is multiplied by three on crit strikes. Reduce the target's chance to hit. And whenever the target attacks 50% chance, they'll take damage. Okay. So we're just doing a bunch of swings here. It's almost like a bunch of combos. An orange leaf. That is pretty, still pretty cool. Um, oh, more of the fire shield. Yeah, Relentless is cool, but I want more. Oh, look at the fire shields. That's so cool. <sighs> oh, this is weird. Destroying people. Okay, so, um, okay, maximum health. We'll do a maximum health one. We'll go ahead and get a healing shield since there's another one. I can kind of just probably stockpile them. Okay, here's the elite. I'm gonna destroy this guy. Um, so I don't have a swing. Is there any close? Quickly throw daggers where you're aiming. Shadow spikes. Oh, this is a doom thing. Yeah, let's do doom then. We could we kind of synergize that with the doom. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, it is gonna be probably a bit hard against like elites or whatever lords of the void. But like, look at the damage we're doing. Um, increase the modifier of whirlwind shadow. No, I'll just do magnetic. I will never not take magnetic area modifier. Uh, no, we'll do just up whirlwind. <laughs> we got the golems, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to do either of any of these. <sighs> um, we'll do the poison bomb, whatever. Okay, so we need about 350 more to summon another lord. Every time you apply poison, there's a chance of doing doom. Ooh, because yeah, if we put enough doom on them, they instantly take the damage. So this is a pretty cool build here. I may actually keep the uh, the poison and doom. Yeah, that way we have like a little bit more long range stuff. 
Increased damage modifier of all bursts, which is only that one. Um, and it would level it up. That's probably still worth it. 40% damage modifier is kind of crazy. It's reminding me of Hades. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For real. So this is another Doom. But I think we're going to just keep what we have here. Increase. Oh, chance to do the multicast of Whirlwind. Yep. I love the way these upgrades work, quite honestly. I really do. We're going to go get some healing here. I want more of the fire shields. Um, damage. Um, let's increase damage, but make us slower. That way we can really just be like, a get in your face and murder you type of thing. Uh, cast frequency for everything. 15% up. Nah. Um, attacks. Ooh, attacks have a chance to poison. Well, don't we have a chance if we're poisoning them to doom them? Your critical strikes can bleed. Yeah, no, let's have a chance to poison them. So we're just doing all this poison and doom, and if we're poisoning, we're doing more doom and all this stuff. Cast, uh, oh, okay, we can just keep stacking the poison thing. Cool. Increases an area, increase the chance to multicast subdue and increase the level. Yep. Stomp. Nope. Um, increase damage of shadow spikes. I'm going to do the whirlwind, honestly. I'm going to prioritize whirlwind more. I am very slow since we took that one ability. All your attacks have a chance to... No, let's actually increase our movement speed. I need to be a bit faster here. Increase the multi-chance of Titan's Cleaver. Increase the skill level. Um, increase... Dude, our Whirlwind's level 5. Um, all of your attacks have a 20% chance of applying Doom. Yes! You're doing a doom poison in your face build here. Um, Titan modifier shirt. Um, Whirlwind's now level six. We've still only killed one of the lords here. Critical strikes can bleed them. No, I'd do the poison. Even though it's technically not as good. Oh, I think we finally found one of those green crystals that we needed. We're actually finding some of the stuff to unlock some of the new weapons or whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and give us uh, 45 extra HP. I'm glad you're excited, Doom Slug. Um, fire shield. <gasps> we got more fire shield. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. New, new void Lord. Um, yep. Level that up. Okay. You're going down, mister. You're going down. Never mind. Get out of the way. It's going to be a little bit hard to get in this guy's face, but once we do, look how much damage he's taking. Um, Damn it. No, we'll just level that up. I don't want to make myself any slower than I have to be. I mean, I do, but not currently right now. These fire shields are helping so much. Whirlwind is now level 7. Everything's casting 15% more often. This game is really good. Every time you apply burn, 50% chance to apply slow or increase the damage. Of Ooh! The first four abilities are swing, so it's gonna level up. It's gonna level up four of our abilities and increase the damage of all your skills by thirty percent. If it, oh my gosh, that's what we was waiting for. That's what I was waiting for. Hey, hey Doom Slub, appreciate the gifted sub. Appreciate it, appreciate it. One away from another uh, of that sound effect. Increase multi-chance to cast the poison stuff, sure. 
appreciate you helping support the channel, my man. Well, this guy's got a lot of health here. We need about 450 more for another Lord. We're going to just be able to beat the game. Increase uh, multi. There we go. We're, we're doubling it. <laughs> So so you you did the first one and that was that was one. So now now it was two and then it'll be four and then eight and and maybe, maybe that resets every stream or something. <laughs> uh, okay, more agility. Oh jeez, oh jeez. And I actually gave two last time for the price of one, so. This is so stupid. <laughs> this music is so good. Um, let's see. Increase your crit chance. Sure. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! I can't be I can't be bullied into uh uh I can't be bullied into demeaning myself. I, you gotta you gotta <laughs> you gotta go through the proper channels. <laughs> but if anyone else does, if anyone else does, then uh then then you contribute to it, and then and then and then you'll get it. <laughs> So we're okay. We're about to summon another one. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Hatchet Daddy, for the gifted sub. Oh, woo. <laughs> there you go. Is that worth it? Is that worth the money you spent? People watching this shit on YouTube are be like, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> so now we're actually. You know what? You know what? I won't even double it. I'll just. I'll just increase it by one. Whoa, 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 what is happening? So now it'll just be three. I won't even make it four, it'll just be three. Oh my, what the crap? Oh, dude, how do I, oh, dude, he's, he's, he's spinning. He's spinning to winning. It's got hard fast. Jeez. He's a Beyblade, yeah. Okay, more movement speed. It's obviously what I need here. Was there any health left? I got to have left some health, right? There we go. Get out of here, man. Okay, let me go find some health. Um, up our damage. 5%. There had to have been health we left. A lot of this. Yeah, there we go. There's at least one. I don't know if it's new or if we left it. Worth every penny, I'm sure. <laughs> this is an interesting build. The problem is, is we're definitely, it's, it's getting hard to stay close, like up in people's faces, you know? Yeah, for those of you guys uh, getting subs right now, make sure if you guys are on our Discord server, you attach your, um, in the connection settings, your Discord to your uh, Twitch, and you'll have access to the super secret channel in Discord. It may delay. Sometimes it takes like, you know, a couple hours to sync. But okay, increased our armor power. Hopefully that'll make us a bit more tanky. This is the place to be right now. Indeed. Those of you guys watching on YouTube, you should definitely. Follow us on Twitch for the crazy stuff that happens here. Um, okay, we don't have anything that's burst, so this won't do anything. Um, Multi-chance, I guess. Chance. I, I wish we would heal a bit more. I might, I might go looking for a... Oh, wait, we're about to summon it. Oh, dang it, we got hit by that, too. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. An avatar of ice here. Oh, what the? What the? It's like my golem, but it's it's ice, and it's an enemy. Yo, what the? What the? Oh, my gosh. What is this? I See, and the thing is, is we can't... Um, okay. Max health, 15. Heal. The problem is, is I have to get so close to this person to do damage to him. But when I do, I mean, look at that. I just shredded his health. Hey, more healing here. Okay, that... Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. That was just, uh... That was some of that crafting material stuff. Okay, bunch of damage here. It's happening. It's happening. Just stay around him. Here we go. Uh, the damage modifier and subdue... Oh no, you guys are clipping this? Uh-oh. You did have a burst, it was a fire shield, you didn't read the fine print. Oh, wait, the fire shield is a burst? What? I didn't know the fire shield was a burst. Oh. Wait, is it? Huh. S okay, so we'll do subdue. Leveling stuff up seems- Oh! Oh, I got trapped! Okay, we killed it though. Oh gosh, oh gosh, get me out of here, get me out of here! Get me out of here! Okay, okay, we're one away. One more, one more boss. I have 30 HP here. I'm a general chat for a call to action. <laughs> See, and you can't trick me to saying it with either. Okay, we just gotta kill like 350 more. Bullet Heaven with good art. Yeah, this this is like my new favorite Bullet Heaven, honestly, probably. At least right now. This is so good. This game is so good. I really hope you guys enjoy it and want it to see a full series. Because, like, I always play new roguelikes on the channel, right? And a lot of times it's just to check out what's coming out, you know? But this is one of the times where I really hope you guys enjoy it so I can turn it into a series. I may still. Any oh, no, no, no. I almost got stuck there. Uh, we are doing still same build. We're just doing kind of a, you know, in-your-face type build. A lot of doom going on. A lot of poison. Got a bunch of fire shields. And we are uh, almost to fighting our last Void Lord. Um, all your, okay. All our attacks have a chance to slow. That seems like it could be pretty useful. I would love for some more healing before we fight the last Void Lord. That does sound like a promotional pitch for a, <laughs> a mobile game. Dude, I don't know where our healing is at. Yeah, we're about 150 away from summoning the last Void Lord. Just looking in case we left a health anywhere. Ooh, nice. Attacks have a chance to doom. Look at all these guys about to die. We're gonna get so much experience. Okay, we're going in, going in, going in, going in. Oh, we took five damage. How could we? Okay, we're 80 away from summoning the last Void Lord. Okay, 50 away. Uh, Whirlwind, yeah, let's level up Whirlwind, or more Dooming. Honestly, I want to level up Whirlwind. Got a level 9, I don't know what the cap is. Yeah, we're about to summon the last one. So every, like, 500 people you kill, you summon a Void Lord. And at least for this map and the first map, you gotta summon 5 Void Lords. Okay. It's a bomb guy? Oh, he's freaking literally throwing a Beyblade. Last one was a Beyblade. Oh, now he's doing a freaking laser. We just gotta hide behind rocks, I guess. 
Oh, he's poisoning too. The Eternal Guardian. Okay, do some damage here. If we can just have some time. Oh! Oh! Oh, we're 22 HP. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're so close to beating the game. Or at least this map, I mean. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. He's doing whatever he's doing here. <gasps> Healing crystal. That healed us 30 at least. Um, increase the damage of the shadows. Yeah, the doom stuff, okay. Okay, come on, come on, fight me, man. Fight me. I do so much damage if I can just get in there and fight him, you know? Okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, I got a bunch of damage. We should be able to loop around here. He's almost dead here. Screw your buzzsaw, mister. Let's go! We did it! We beat the second area! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! We've leveled the Barbarian up so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so maybe we can do more of the progression stuff now. We have 22,000. So this character, I don't know what leveling up the character does. I really don't. I, I, I have zero clue. Um, but, let's see, blacksmith. So see, we got three of the emeralds that we need for upgrading that. We have 343 out of 600 of the iron and we need one more ruby. So like, you know, theoretically, like how do you get rubies? You get rubies in this third area. So that's what's cool. Whoever you're trying to like grind the materials for, you'll play on that map. And then like, you know, say we came back here, we would like do the curse difficulty, you know, and stuff like that. Um, but for the time being, um, we still can't afford the runic powers. So we still don't even know what the crap this stuff is. Um, oh, reach prestige level 30 with the beast master. So a lot of these, oh, so these are like achievements as well. Okay. So skill tree blacksmith, uh, we're going to make sure that we save 10,000 for the, how actually, no, we don't even need to do that. Cause next time we play, we're going to probably play as the pyromancer. Um, but so we will just go ahead and, um, let's see. Oh, we could get increase the number of dashes you can perform by one by using three of the corrupted soul stones. Yeah. Let's do that. So we can now dash twice. Um, you recover two health points every time you level up. That's not a lot. That's, that's not a lot. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I kinda wanna just max out the soul. St yeah, honestly, screw it. Max out. Oh, okay, we did it. The final one is gonna cost two. So we increase the soul stones we earn. Uh, increase all health re uh, received from health crystals by five armor. I don't want to do some of this healing stuff. So recover. We're going to recover 4 HP every time we level up. And um, we're going to um, cast frequency modifier a bunch. Nice. So we have all these soul stones that I'm assuming we'll use elsewhere. There's still so much of this stuff that we haven't even touched yet. I mean, we don't have the alternate thing, all of this stuff. So next time, if you guys want to see more of this game, next time we play, we'll try out the Pyromancer and stuff like that. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. This game is way better than I was expecting it to be. And I really hope you guys enjoy so we can turn it into a full series. So, you know, share it with people, you know, that may be interested in the game or this channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, just if you're watching on YouTube, consider subscribing, ringing that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified if more Soulstone survivors, hopefully, uh, will come out. If there is some, it'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some Soulstone survivors on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.